Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. It is T-Ultra here. And in this video, we are going to be doing some agendas to get some more XP so we can get this free Amethyst Trey Young card. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are on our way to 500 subscribers. And you're going to want to stay tuned for more NBA 2K21 My Team content. And one more thing quickly before we get into the video. I haven't been posting a lot of 2K content lately or really a lot of videos in general. And that is because my computer has honestly been so bad lately it's been having so many issues i recorded a corone butler gameplay video for you guys uh you know a little bit after that card came out and to make a long story short my computer more or less just keeps crashing just like randomly um i was recording the video i did the whole thing and then the audio got all messed up i think the audio actually got deleted um the like, half of the gameplay recording got deleted it was just kind of crazy so i'm trying to figure that all out uh, but just so you guys are aware that's kind of what's been going on lately so hopefully we can get some things resolved. I've been trying a couple of things. I just reinstalled Windows today. Uh, so hopefully that will fix it. But uh, when I did use that Corone Butler card, um, I did drop 42 points with him. As you can see on the screen, 42 out of 80. That was all in one game of My Team Unlimited. So that would have been cool to actually be able to show you guys, but sorry. My computer just doesn't want that to happen, I guess. All right, so now we're actually gonna get into the video here. So we only need a little bit of XP to get that Trey Young card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one of those new spotlight challenges uh, that are in the game. We're gonna try to do this Larry Keenan dunk challenge to get 200 XP. And we're gonna try to knock out this um, AK-47 points agenda as well. He needs 14 more points to get this one done and then we'll get 500 XP from that as well. So this is the challenge that we're going to do right here. The new team up spotlight challenge is right here. We're going to do it against this Lakers team up one. Looks like we got to score 25 points total and make six layups as a team. Here's the lineup we're going to be rocking with. We're going to work on our assists with Chris Paul as well. And then I believe he also has an agenda where if you get two steals in a game, you get some XP for that. So maybe we can do that one in this uh, little video here as well. We'll just have to see. Am I the only one who's realized that like it's really hard to get your players to roll unless you're like in the corner? Thanks for not dunking that, but you know what I mean? Unless you're in the corner and you call for the screen, sometimes they just don't roll. It is very, very strange to me. Not really sure what that is about. Grab the ball. Grab it. 2K. Guys, another reason I haven't been posting a lot of 2K videos is stuff like this. I cannot bring myself to play this game, you know? I'm a student. I'm a student athlete. I don't have time to be dealing with this game and this nonsense. Look at this. AK, what are you doing? Thank, thank you, bro. Wow. There's some points for AK right there. Go. There we go. Another bucket. See what I mean? Why doesn't he roll? He won't roll to the basket. Go. Cut. Get a dunk. Thank you. But you know what I mean? Unless they're in the corner, they don't roll to the basket. They just fade no matter what. It's so bizarre, bro. There we go. Needed that layup. Okay, good. That's a steal for him. Go to the basket. There we go. Another layup. Let's go. Grab it. All the way. All the way. Big finish right there. Boom! Oh, I think he has his dunks done now. Oh my. I'm trying to extend this game so we can get all of our agendas done, but... They just dropped... Oh, cool! Okay. Whew. All right. Let's just try to score here. That's the... Okay, don't cut... This game, bro. This game, this game, this game, this game, this game. Go. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. There we go. He needs one more bucket for his points, I believe. And then we'll just be able to focus on winning. No. What? No. 2K. He missed that layup. What are you doing? Well, I can't really explain how we lost that, but it looks like we got to level 28 regardless. Uh, we got Amethyst Trey Young right there. What challenges did we do all in that game? Did we get... Oh, we must have got AK's done. Oh, I guess we had enough. My bad. So now we have all of Andre Kirilenko's XP agendas done. So I'm going to go sell him now. I currently have him in my unlimited lineup. This is the lineup that I've been playing with recently. Um, I did use that Butler card, like I said. But I think we can do something sort of like 
you know, maybe putting him there and then put in uh, Chuck Person right there. I don't know. We could also use Andrew Wiggins if we get rid of uh, Butler. This Wiggins card is pretty decent. We got some flexibility here. Um, I just don't want a lot of MT invested in this uh, AK card, to be honest. All right, so these are the cheapest ones that are up right now. So I'm probably going to throw them up there for like 16.5 so he sells quickly. And we did get that Larry Keenan dunk agenda done in that game as well. But as you can see, we still have one more agenda do to do with him. Play 50 minutes with Larry Keenan in Unlimited. So I'm not going to sell him quite yet. And then just to give you guys a quick little update on what other agendas I've been doing lately. I just did these daily agendas right here. I just bought a bronze shoe for 350 MT to get this one done for 100 XP right there. We did these two as well to get all the daily ones done for 11.5. I'm probably going to post this on 11.6. So that's why uh, these agendas will seem outdated because they are. And then I believe I also did all of the daily agendas on the third and I recorded it to put on the screen. But once I, I, I like I reset windows and it just like deleted all that stuff off of like my Elgato software. So um, it is what it is. I just know that I did the November 3rd ones. You'll just have to trust me on that one. Uh, what else, man? We just got this one for winning 10 games of TTO, Sapphire, Charlie Ward, and he has some agendas that we can do as well. Um, haven't completed any yet, but we will get those done eventually. This one we did get a couple done with is this uh, Sapphire, Derek Harper. We got him for what? Winning 25 games of single player triple threat. We got this one, score 10 points with him in a single game of triple threat offline, and then get 10 steals with him across multiple triple threat offline games. Nothing too crazy whatsoever. I just did this one not too long ago as well. I can't really remember if I had these ones done in my last video, but I have those done. For week three, we are onto the jumpers. We got two of those done. And then here's actually some cool ones. So we got some free packs from like locker codes and stuff, I think. And we got this Jeff Green and this Xavier McDaniel card. So we got their agendas done. And then we were also able to get a couple original owner agendas done as well. We got 500 XP total from doing those two. So that's one thing to look out for. If you're opening a free pack, especially, and you get an original owner card, make sure that, you know, there's not some agendas that you can do, you know, because you might not want to like sell the cards right away because if they have that original owner tag, you want to take advantage of that. Get these agendas done while you have those cards if you do plan on selling them because original owner cards are hard to come by. Um, 2K almost got me to, you know, rip a few more packs, like actually buy them with MT. So I could do these ones as well, which you need three players and five players for uh, of the original owner variety. Uh, but I decided not to do that. Maybe I'll do that later. But um, and then we also did this win the possessed challenge one. Oh, yeah. And we also got the steals with Marcus Smart, wherever that one is. But I do not think I'm going to sell that card. I kind of like him. I don't know. I, I might use him in my lineup at some point. I don't know. But here you see we got 175 XP from doing that. And then apparently since my last video, I got this uh, Daryl Dawkins dunk one, you know, the triple D's. I got that one done as well for 300 XP. So his are all done. We could sell him back. I don't think he goes for a lot of MT though. And then also super fun, but also depressing. I bought a Dylan Brooks card. How much did I buy him for? I bought him for 4,500 MT because he had a this day in history agenda, I believe it was. And you had to get a double double with him, right? So I was playing single player triple threat. I was trying to do it with points and assists by like extending the game, you know? And then the computer kept just like hitting a shot when I didn't want it to and the game would end before he got the double double. So I wasn't able to do it. But then it was like 1.30 a.m. my time. I'm in central time. And typically the agendas go until 2 a.m. my time, right? And it's 1.30. So I didn't look at the agenda or anything. I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to try to do it again. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can get it done before 2 a.m. And then what actually happened was he had like a bunch of rebounds right out of the gate. And then I was eventually able to do it with uh, rebounds and assists. Uh, but then once I got out of it, I didn't get the XP. And I was like, what the heck? And it turns out because it was just recently daylight savings time, the agenda had already expired and the times were all off. So I'm guessing the agenda had just expired like a half hour before that when I finally got it done with a fluky stat like rebounds. That was super, super annoying. Uh, but yeah, I have a gold Dylan Brooks now that I bought for 4.5 KMT. Uh, and that it is what it is. And then also other purchases I have made recently. We got the Amethyst Corone, like I said, for 9.5K, the one I tried to make a gameplay video for you guys on, and that just didn't work out. And then I also bought that Ruby CP3 for 6,000 MT. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and claim this Trey Young card in Amethyst. I've heard this card is pretty good. Let's flip it. Let's take a look at him, especially at this stage of the game, you know, when smaller point guards are able to be used. 
it's always a good time you know i i like the stage of the game where you can actually use a true point guard you don't have to use like a center at point guard and there he is trey young atlanta hawks point guard slash shooting guard 90 overall you know what it is welcome to the squad bro and then while we're here we might as well open up this other uh what was it sapphire who is this charlie ward i think i think i got that right We'll open this up as well. We might as well open this up while we're here. And I was right, man. Charlie Ward. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Trey Young card right here. Where is he? Um, I'm... Where is he? Why can't I find him? Why? Here he is. No, he's not. Wait, yes, he is. Wait, no, he's... Yes, he is. Okay. Woo! Found him. All right, let's take a look at his badge just quick here. So he's got 91 offense, 75 defense. Okay, I mean, defense is not looking good. Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. Here's his gold badges. I'm not going to like go too in-depth with this. I just want to take a quick look at him here. Does he have range at all? They have to give him range. He's got silver range, bronze quick first step. Okay, no clamps it looks like, unless I missed it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's take a look at his attributes here. Driving lips in 88. He's got a 93 ball. I expected that to be high. Can't dunk. 85 ball handle. Defensively not good at all. Can't rebound. Eh, not fast. Not slow. Just kind of average. Lateral quickness is bad. Not strong. All right. So we got Trey Young. All right. Cool. I don't know where I got this pack from. And I also have a league base pack or something like that to open. I think they're probably just from daily logins. Uh, just some contracts we have way too many contracts right now so we got to send those to the auctions i'm not going to sell them i'm just kind of holding on to them you know so i don't have to, so i don't have to sell them i'm just sending them to the auctions uh just to hold them there until i have space in my actual collection for them and we got this pack as well i believe from a daily login and we get a bronze elise johnson so that is not what i was looking for uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, you know, since I reset Windows and everything, I'm hoping this will solve my computer issues so I can more consistently make videos and that, you know, half the videos I make don't just disappear, right? That would be ideal for everyone. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K21 My Team content. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.